Cancer, you are up for the August love energy reading. As for the reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now, my last reading for tonight, last but most certainly not least, we're, we're working on this. So, it says, hear them out. This person that you're dealing with, things are not balanced at the moment, but it's only temporary. Because they're not balanced, this person is thinking, I don't think I deserve you. I don't think I deserve you, is what the Oracle card says. Oh, yeah. The other Oracle card, it says, don't lose faith. Good things are ahead of us. Don't lose faith. Good things are ahead of us. I feel like this is your energy. And then trying to find my way back to you. Trying to find my way back to you. Is what they're doing. So they're trying to. Maybe in some cases physically find their way back to you. But also trying to get to a good place with you. Because maybe you're not communicating right now. At least that's the, that's the vibe that I'm getting. That you're not really communicating that much. And the other card that came out, it says, it says put, but it means take. If I ever take off my mask, will you accept another real me? If I ever take off my mask, will you accept another real me? And then finally, at the bottom of the Oracle deck, it says, can you at least listen to me? Can you at least listen to me? And that's why I titled this Hear Them Out. Because there's something that they want to tell you. Now, maybe in the past, things were unbalanced. And maybe they're, they're possibly unbalanced a little bit right now. That is fine. You have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And you have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Both Sixes. Six Six is... Um, about the meaning of 66 is about balance, harmony. There's another word too. Love is one, but it's something else. Balance, harmony, and something. I forgot what it is. <laughs> but really about balance and harmony. Even though things were not balanced and there wasn't reciprocity, with the Six of Swords reversed, it's still about holding on. Because you didn't necessarily move away. Or if you did move away, you still have feelings. Somebody still ha has feelings. No one has completely let go. Regardless of what the imbalance was back in the past or what the imbalance is now, no one has truly let go. The hangman came out, which is about seeing things through a different perspective. And this is another thing too. I feel like some of you... One party may have thought that things were unbalanced, but another party may have been like, oh, this isn't that bad. It's, it's not as bad as you think it is type of type of energy where maybe they were maybe another party was fine carrying the additional weight for a little while. Obviously not in perpetuity, but for a little while. And they were fine with that. But maybe they thought that, um, no, I wanted to be balanced. And that was more of their internal voices that they were dealing with. Now, you have the Queen of Wands, which is passion, also being very magnetic energy, also very confident energy, a very stable energy. I feel like if this is something where it's, it was in the past, maybe this person wasn't that confident back then, but they're confident now. And this confidence will definitely help the relationship. Also, with the Nine of Pentacles, Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Wands again is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But with the Nine of Pentacles, this is stability. This is independence. This is entrepreneur. This is energy where this Nine of Pentacles doesn't need anyone to get things done. A person in the Nine of Pentacles energy can do things on their own. I feel like this person may be more independent now. 
And they're coming back a better person. Now, the flip side of this, let me throw this out here. You could be more independent now. You could be more attractive now. After the separation. Especially if they're the ones who triggered the temporary separation. Where again, both of you were still holding on. You hadn't completely let go. And in the middle of the separation, you glowed up. You became more independent. You became more attractive. You became more confident. And if that's the case, I can tell you right now, it turns them on. But this is the other side of things. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is about celebration. This is about also about reunions. Some of you might be reuniting with someone. Ah, yeah, it's your divine match. Under the Three of Cups was the King of Wands. So this here is a divine match, is what this is. And it's a very passionate match, too. I, I just heard there is a lot of sex with this couple. In addition to that, more fire energy with temperance at the bottom of the deck. Temperance is about healing. Temperance is about balance. Whatever this is, if it wasn't equal give and take last time, it's equal give and take this time. This is Sagittarius energy. Some of you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. But this is saying there's room to heal this relationship. And with the Knight of Swords under that, someone's looking to take action, immediate action. They know where they want to invest with the, with the Seven of Pentacles. And now that you have new insight, you know where to set your boundaries now with the Nine of Wands. And you know how to accept the good things in life with the Empress. And you know your worth with the Empress because you are Empress energy cancer. Empress is the mother of the tarot deck. Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. And you're leaving that old energy behind with the Ten of Swords. This is new energy. This is happiness with the sun and with the fool and with the lovers and with the Ace of Cups and with the Ace of Wands. So you have one, two, three major arcanas and two aces. Sound, sounds like a good thing to me. Again, you have the sun, happiness, also can be pregnancy too, especially with this Ace of Wands. If you're not looking to get pregnant, Cancer, be careful. Because with the sun and the Ace of Wands, yeah, baby. So you have the sun, happiness. You have the fool starting over again. And sun is Leo energy, fool is Aquarius, Aries energy. Then you have the lovers making the choice, being together, Gemini energy. Then you have the ace of cups and the ace of wands. Emotional fulfillment, passion, physical fulfillment, the new start. That is what you are getting. But hear them out. And that is your message.